What's going on everybody C4 welcome back to the channel and I'm sure I'm a little bit late I literally just woke up cr just cracked the uh, the fresh energy drink here uh, But today yesterday was the announcement of the John Madden on the cover of Madden 23, which is perfect I think that was absolute home run today. We're starting to get a little trickled out information for Madden 23 We're talking about a brand new engine that is going to be in the game. But also, we found a little bit out about franchise mode. That's what I want to focus on in today's video. I want to talk about what we know so far about franchise mode in Madden 23. Because I don't think a lot of people clicked on this video. To hear what C4 has to say about DB animations and zone coverage or Madden Ultimate Team. So, I'll kind of go through everything we got here on the deep dive. And then there was some article posted that kind of elaborated a little bit more uh, on the franchise mode. Uh, I mean, I haven't been able... I wasn't invited this year to go play Madden early I I just I don't know I just didn't make the cut this year I guess uh being that being said I say that because it seems like especially this field sense which seems like the big feature this year where they're they're I, I don't know if they're changing the engine sounds like it they're kind of which could be good they have like this thing they're highlighting that you can hit everything with defining defensive pursuit there's now skill-based passing, 360 cuts for running backs and yards after the catch and kick returns, and there's going to be wide receiver DB battles. And, and I read that they, they recorded brand new DB animations and all this stuff. And that all sounds interesting. Sounds like that could be awesome for sure. But I, I don't think you can properly review that and just see how, it, you know, without playing it. you got to get on the sticks. you got to see how it feels. I'm very interested by it. It seems like this is going to be next-gen only. So... If you don't have your hands on a new Xbox or a PS5, and that's, I don't know if they're going to make the PC version this year, next gen, probably, I don't know, I can't comment, but last year they did not. The PC version was the old version, last gen version. Um, yeah, it just says only available. Yeah, well, there you go. There's going to look at that there, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X comes with field sense, so that kind of lets you know all you need to know about Madden 23 on PC. Seems like they're getting the old version. I mean, it's someone that plays on Series X and on PC. I really do wish it was both. I, I don't understand. I mean, it's probably way above my pay grade as to why PC gets the old version. I've seen some people say that, like, a lot of people that play PC games don't have their, their PCs worse than the hardware that's in these brand-new consoles. I, I don't know. I don't want to comment really too much on that. But it does, at least from that little tidbit, Sound like the PC version is going to be the lesser version this year. But I don't want to talk about... I mean, we go down here. You got Face of the Franchise is back. Um, sure, you start with a proven contract. The storyline is you negotiate a year proven contract with one of 32 teams and show out. Uh, there's Chad Johnson's in it. It is what it is. You got Ultimate Team. You got The Yard. Um... Yard's going to be fully integrated into face of the franchise. That could be kind of cool. I always thought that was something that they should do. Find a way to get more out of both those modes. Maybe by combining them. But in, and if they integrate them properly, that, that, that could be kind of cool. Um, Madden All Access returns starting in July. Kicks off spring. Oh, hopefully, hopefully I get some Madden All Access. I don't know. But that'd be pretty cool if we could talk and elaborate more about franchise mode. That is why we're here. This is the blurb that we got for Franchise. I wish it was way larger. wish it was way longer. wish there was more paragraphs to it. Franchise, call the shots in the front office as you lead your Madden NFL 23 franchise to the top. The drama of NFL free agency leads the way with new athlete motivations like team location and salary demands factoring into contract negotiations. New player tags improve offseason activity logic and impact player progression. Updated trade logic AI represents the value of star players more accurately and uh, more accurately for fair and more realistic offers. Continue to plan and strategize like an NFL head coach with refined scouting, staff management, and weekly strategy features. Um, so from this, they have improved NFL free agency, which is something that needed to get touched. Free agency was pretty bare bones to say the least and there's definitely one of the issues i would say from free agency to the draft like including the draft the period there's there's um i don't know the proper way i, I maybe there's there wasn't enough there wasn't enough chaos 
that represents the real NFL offseason, especially this last offseason in real life, was insanity, right? The trades, who's going where, and franchise mode has fail, fail, really failed to capture that. And it sounds like that's that's kind of something that was the, that was the big improvement they want to do this year. And again, got to see how that feels. Got to see if it's really moving the needle. Got to see how much more the refined scouting is. Um, but I feel like there should be more. <laughs> so like it's I mean maybe there is more. Again, haven't haven't seen the game yet. I mean, once we get the beta out, we won't be able to really comment on the beta, but I can get more of an idea. I'll just say, it feels like there should be more. Like, there's create a team. Still no create a team? You know? Um, no, you know. I, I gotta, you, you gotta see it. You know? Anyways, we're gonna, you know, kind of this, move this into, there's an article that was posted by Brian Shea on GameInformer.com. Uh, and he kind of elaborates a little bit more. Again, there's talking about the gameplay and stuff like that, which for me, I, I always just stress when it comes to gameplay, just don't read the reviews, play it yourself. Get an idea on your own opinion on it. Don't take someone else's. But we have his blurb here about continuing to fix franchise. And uh, Madden 23 adds to free agency. Um, going into any free agent interaction, players have new motivations. Motivations offer unique Reasons why players might not want to sign on the team. For example, star wide receiver might want to play alongside a franchise quarterback. If you haven't have an elite quarterback, chances on you sign the player go up. So you, again, like that's kind of cool to have some sort of thing under the hood that that plays into real life factors as to why players want to sign where. So it's not just like ridiculous signings. Hell, we just saw in my last rebuild that I did yesterday, the Buffalo Bills signed Lamar Jackson while they had Josh Allen. Okay, like things like that. You know, you also have motivations like playing close to home, playing on a Super Bowl contender, or even playing in a state that there's no income tax. Again, that honestly, that's kind of cool to have that form of logic into free agency. So it's not just going to be straight up going to the highest bidder. Uh, I assume that, you know, I'm just making a guess that, like, you know, you still probably have the green interest bars, but they're going to fluctuate a lot more, not just based off of the monetary amount that you're throwing in. Uh, these motivations... Uh, Interact with the new tag system where players have specific attributes that drive free agent logic. I already mentioned franchise quarterback tag, which might attract a star wide receiver, but players can have other tags, such as the mentor, which grants additional XP to all players in that position group, or award winner, which can heavily weigh on how free agent interactions go with that player. Uh, when you open up the new free agent hub, you can see player motivation tags, how they fit into your scheme, interest meter, expected market value, and how many teams are interested. These new views and tools are helpful, but you must be more strategic in your interactions as you can only have five active negotiations in the early stage. So it can't be an all-out free-for-all in free agency. However, as the free agency period progresses, you can negotiate with more players at once. Once in the negotiation screen, you can offer the contract length, amount, and structure that you want for the player or choose from our new preset offers, player-friendly, team-friendly, neutral, or max offer. The hope is that these will streamline free agency for those that want to build their teams, but don't want to get in the nitty gritty of financials. Um, again, uh, kind of cool, right? Like, I, I think adding a more real like that is something that like you're trying to like picture uh, for me as a content creator. Like, anytime they add a feature to franchise mode, I got to think how is that going to play off in like a rebuild video and, and stuff like this, making it so it's not always so copy and paste when you're trying to sign the big free agents. I actually think that's that's a nice improvement, to to be sure here. Um, we also have a large focus of last year's post-launch updates was on the scouting system. While EA implemented welcome changes to how you scope and scout the college talent, the studio didn't quite get it right on the first attempt. The Madden team is taking what they worked on last year and expanding it. Now you have more scouts in the pool, the ability to scout multiple positions at once, weighted attribute reveals showing... Skills relevant to their position, more unique draft class classes, and 3D models in the player cards. Top that off with better user interface and scouting hub improvements, and scouting joins the rest of franchise as one of the more promising parts of Madden 23. Uh, and that's it. This goes into the yard and all the team face of franchise. Uh, again, I, th I think it's... Gotta have to check it out. Gonna have to hop on the sticks, 
I know that this is probably not going to go over well with the community. I think, personally, this could be pretty fun. A, a nice, substantial update. If, if they make... If they make the offseason, which it should be, if they make the offseason truly feel like the, a second season within your franchise mode, you have the full 17-game season, playoffs, preseason, that is season one. But they make it so season two, it's a, it's, a, it's an entire grind in the good way, in a good sense of a grind. That season two starts, we have the franchise, we have the scouting, we have free agency, we have the draft, all that stuff truly feels like it's the second season we get ready to go. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I think that is what's that feeling of like once you get to the off season, it just kind of even with the improved scouting mechanics. Really, what what is the off season in Madden Twenty Two bit? It's most likely there's sometimes there's players you can't sign. There's sometimes players even if you pay them a ridiculous amount of money, they won't pick your team. But for the most part, free agency in Madden Twenty Two was I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna sign whoever I want if I want, as long as I have salary cap, and. If I don't have the proper information for scouting, I'm just going to straight up going to draft the best guy with the best combine, and more often than not, they're the best player. That's what it was. And that isn't enough. They need to make it harder. And if they made it so it's like, we're going to war, man. We got, you know, and you're going to be dedicating and rebuilds and stuff like that a good two, three minutes on, like, the bidding wars and, and trying to come up with a proper game plan for your free agency period. And they take all these improvements to scouting, which I don't know what that is, but I'm kind of intrigued. By that, you know that's that's pretty cool. That's that's good. But is there enough? That is that's kind of the question I have. As we, you know, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Is there enough? Last year, Madden 21 to Madden 22, there was the movement, and it did seem, even though the execution wasn't there, the intent to like heavily focus on franchise mode last year was promising. In from 21 or from 22, now going to 23. Is there enough? Is this enough for people to be satisfied with the continuing development of franchise mode? I'll let you guys answer that one in the comment section below. But I'm excited to get my hands on this game, see how it plays, and to let you guys know my thoughts and any other information that becomes available that I am allowed to share to you guys. I will make content on it. But as it stands right now, this is all we got. And um, we'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, whether you're excited for franchise mode or the new field sense or if you're hyped to play face of the franchise the league and have it combined with your the yard avatar let me know in the comment section below but that'll do it for me today guys thank you very much for watching as always first time stopping by head of this madden 22 uh madden 23 season don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button smash the like button if you enjoyed and uh until next time c4 say peace out